Elle dit qu'il n'est jamais très loin, qu'il part très souvent travailler. Maman dit travailler c'est bien, bien mieux qu'être mal accompagné. Pas vrai, où est ton papa Dis-moi où est ton papa Sans même devoir lui parler, il sait ce qui ne va pas. Un sacré papa, dis-moi où es-tu caché Ça doit faire au moins mille fois que j'ai compté mes doigts. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this video today because it has been highly requested for the past, I'd say, two years. I get questions all the time about people visiting Montreal, what to do, what to see, what I recommend, and there's just a lot of things to do that I think are a lot of fun. So I figured before the snow falls and before it gets way too cold, I'm gonna film this video so you guys can kind of have an idea of what to do in Montreal and also kind of what my city looks like and to show you some of my favorite spots. So before I go, I just want to show you how beautiful it is outside right now. I love Canada. I love totals. <laughs> but yeah, Dan, Tim, and I are heading out today to go and film a bunch of really fun places and good food ideas. And that way, if ever anyone is interested in visiting, I will just send them this video and then they can see what they can do. So let's go. Tim's here now. All right. Go downtown. One of the main. It's freezing today. It's cold, yeah. One of the main streets over here it's is where. It's called Saint Francois Xavier. Yep. And we're going to Venice Cafe, which is right here, one of my favorite restaurants. So around the city, they have these things that you can actually stand on right here. Put your feet and then you look up. And if you were to look exactly at this sec, I know to you guys it just looks like a parking lot, but this is actually the oldest wall, in, well, one of the oldest walls in Montreal. The stone is extremely old. It's when they settled from France. You can see just the tip of the church back there, but you can tell how old this wall is. It's beautiful. Very yeah, beautiful. you can lit, it looks like a house right there. Yeah. And then higher up, you can see the black line where the secondary building Where the tar be. roof was. And Whoa. then now there's the newest building. Yeah, yeah like chimney and, and you roof. You can see the, the archways there. Yeah. yeah, over there. I don't know if you can see on camera but that's pretty cool if you come here guys this is st paul street you'll have a bunch of shopping and cute, cool stores you can go into then we got two guys over here that come with the street we're the uh the local <laughs> statue <laughs> if you come down this way you get the canal this is rue de la commune which is like 
street of the common. <laughs> well, yeah. Common. common street. Not really. Commune is not common, it's something else. And as you can see, it resembles Paris, some of the, oh, yeah, the architecture. Because if you guys didn't know, Quebec is French. <laughs> and the French settled here. I don't remember what year. Do you guys remember what year? Was it Jacques Cartier? I mean, he was really early, but Montreal celebrated, what was his 350th year? Not too long ago, something like that. You learned this, right? You think we know this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dan, why are you walking like that? Try to cross paths. It's where I tell a lot of people to go because you have a lot of fun activities to do in summer. In the well. summer, there's often a lot of like uh, street side boutiques with like um, handmade jewelry, you handmade paintings. Look, if you look that way, you can see the Expo 67 American Dome. You see it all the way across there? Uh, not on camera. Oh, no, it's too much glare, huh? Yeah, we'll probably see it when we cross the bridge later. One thing that Montreal is really known for is its food. It's really diverse. We have food from all over the world here and really, really good food, really amazing chefs. And we have one thing in the summer called the Food Festival, which... Okay. Y-U-L, yeah. Y-U-L Food Festival. And they have like these food stands everywhere and you can go and you can try stuff. It's so good. And it's usually the in the old name? port here. Y-U-L eat? You'll eat? Because the airport. Oh yeah, here, you'll eat. The airport here is abbreviated as YUL, for whatever reason. Another thing in Montreal is art. We have a lot of art in the city and really cool sculptures everywhere. This is the bestest art of all. 1534. Wow. Yeah, 1534. That's when Jacques, Jacques That's Cartier. That's when he first entered the, the Gulf of the St. Lawrence. So he didn't. He 15, didn't. 1534. 1534. He didn't settle. That was the first time he well, entered. This, according to Wikipedia, Montreal was founded on May 17, 1642. So almost 100 years later. Wow. Yeah. So Dan, what do you think? Should we bring them over to the port? But I think before we do that, we should get a beaver tail. Oh yeah. By the way guys, a beaver tail is not actually a beaver's tail. It, it, it just looks like it. it. It's shaped like a beaver's tail, but it's actually a pastry. So it's basically a donut that's flattened out like a beaver's tail and you can put toppings on it. I usually just get the cinnamon sugar. Yeah. You guys can do like chocolate and banana. You can do cookies and cream. You can do Reese's. It's really good. Just across the little canal, we have the lookout Ferris wheel, which gives you a beautiful view of the whole entire city and mm -hmm. mainly the port. Cool pirate ship jungle gym and the zip line. Yeah, there's a lot of fun activities to do Super here. Super bumping in the summer. In the summer, these are open. You can like shop for some stuff. Super bumping. <laughs> Place gets real lit in the summer. Oh Ew. God, stop, stop. <laughs> I'm just gonna go this way. <laughs> Bye, Tim. Oh, look at the leaves. I know. And there's the pirate ship. This is a market.
in the summer, all of these things are open. You can like kind of shop around the market. There's some handmade stuff, purses, jewelry, henna. Oh, it's set up for fall, how cute. It's getting away from you. He's like not jumping. <laughs> He's not scared. Good. Are you nervous? No, I'm, I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. So we get the view of Montreal behind us. I'm going up. Tim was really nervous the first time. We didn't film because he was tense. <laughs> I'm a little bit better now. How are you feeling there, Tim? A little bit better. But we're gonna see so once we get halfway. We're parallel right now to the yeah. thing, so now we're halfway to the top. I can't look. <laughs> He's more nervous than me. Oh, look at the zip line. That looked huge when we were down there. This is how hard we are. Oh, don't look the camera down. That makes me, <laughs> that makes me nervous. <laughs> it's really nice. So if you guys don't know, that mountain back there is actually a door, it's a, a volcano that's dormant. Like thousands and thousands of years, but that is a volcano back there. And Montreal's actually an island. Most people don't know that. And up there is the cross. You guys could see and no building is allowed to be taller than that cross on top of the mountain I know it looks like some of them are taller that's just because we're close <laughs> I guess from a vantage point yeah. yeah but they're actually not taller than that we're on St. Paul Street <laughs> Up to your left is the beginning of the mountain, and the side of the mountain in the summer they do every single Sunday is Tams. Tam Tams, because they play the Tam Tams. It's also right off of the whole McGill University Athletic Department, so the football stadium is right there. American football is right there. They also do rugby. Uh, I think the arena is really close by for hockey. The pool. Yeah, the pool's right there. You can see there's like a whole park here on the side of the mountain. It's really nice. And over there, that is Tam Tam's well up ahead with the statue. There we go. And everyone just kind of hangs out on the mountainside. So now we're driving up the mountain. Well, as I, I should say, up the volcano. <laughs> Did you bring a bathing suit? No. Oh, you can't cannonball in the lava. <laughs> Good one, Dad. This was a, a good day to come because there's good visibility. Today. Well, that's what you're saying, huh? On the, uh, the Ferris wheel. Look how pretty. You can see all look at the mountains in the distance. And we got the city with the pretty fall leaves. If you guys are coming to Montreal, make sure you definitely check out this view. I'll have like a link to the Google Maps listed down below so you guys can actually like click it and get the exact location. On the other side of the view is this where there's like bathrooms and a cafe. It's really nice. We're in the... Where is it now? This is the plateau. This is the plateau area. <laughs> oh look! There's a used bookstore. There's one thing you definitely have to try when you come, and that's a bagel. Now there's <laughs> Montreal style. A Montreal bagel. style bagel. There's a lot of places you can go, but the best one is called Saint Viator, and it's on it? Saint, Saint Viator Street. Well, is that's it like Saint Viator. It depends how you pronounce it. In French, it's Saint Viator. Yeah. But in English, it's Saint Viator, Saint Viator, Saint Viator, whatever you want to say. I think I just said it all the same way. <laughs> But it's on St. Vieter Street and it's amazing. So we're gonna go get a bagel. Excited? Even, it's so good that you can just eat it straight out of the bag. That's what I'm gonna do. 
Like you don't have to cook it again. You don't have to put anything on it. It's even better with cream cheese. Yeah. But like just by itself, it's so perfect. Oh, like, Tim, look, like, your friends. Hey, found them. Hi. What's cool about the plateau area, it's the more trendy area of Montreal, so you'll find a lot of vintage shops, clothing vintage, uh, a lot of vintage bookstores, a lot of like yeah. art stuff. There's some really cool like murals and street art everywhere. There's a lot of music in the summer. You have bagels. Bagels. Look at this, look at this. It's like squishy. Here, where's the, it? It's like spongy the and it's kind of crunchy on the outside. All right, here we go. Mm. Mm. Every time. Oh. oh, it's like steaming. Mm. It's so good. That's what I have a It's so good. Mm. Look at the floor. Even the pigeons like it. Tim, you can't feed the birds. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Ended up getting a book. So did Tim. Yeah, sorry. We went Talking to the we went to the used bookstore. The Gunslinger. Oh, I've never read that one. Yeah, apparently oh, it's the it's first of the Dark Tower series. So oh, nice. I never read it either. So also in the plateau is a bunch of used bookstores and used record stores. So it's the best thing. We're gonna go in and take a look at what they have. Then got two records. Bill Collins and Frank Sinatra. I wonder no, whose pick was good. whose. Ten yeah, bucks. Let these guys go and then we'll go. Ten bucks for both. That's pretty good. Total. Yeah. That's good. Oh, I'm cutting everyone well, off. Well, one was two dollars. All right, so we're on Mount Royal Street and up ahead, I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, the tree's about to cover it. <laughs> but it was the Olympic Stadium. Now we are heading over the Jacques Cartier Bridge, which brings us to Ile saint Hélène. Well, actually, interesting thing about that island is it's made from the earth dug out for our underground train system. Guys, there's foxes! Hello! There's legit foxes. Oh, they're so cute too. Oh my god, Look Dan. At Look at them run. What the heck? They're so big. Also, why are they just here? Because <laughs> they live on the island. It's a park. It's a big park. Oh my goodness, I've literally never seen foxes like that close before they're, in my life. They're so cute. They're little schmanus. Yeah. <laughs> they're beautiful. I wish I had some food for you. Oh my gosh, I love him. Hi. Oh. What you doing? <laughs> Reminds me of Boo. And then coming across is our amusement park, La Ronde. Yay. Which you can't really see probably because of these grates. Oh, you can't really see it, huh? But it's right there. You can see the it's monster. The yellow, yeah. Actually, coming up, you'll get a better shot. 
and the Olympic Stadium. So this area, in my opinion, I like La Banquise, but Tim also likes Poutineville. Yeah, which is pretty close by as well. But when you come to Montreal, you have to try a local, local poutine. And as Alex said, this is one of the best since 1968, La Banquise. <laughs> What's good about this place is they actually have options if you don't eat meat, if you're vegan, they have a, ve a vegan gravy and whole vegan option, so it's kind of good for everyone. If anyone's wondering what poutine is, it's french fries, cheese curds, and gravy. Now the nice place, the nice thing about here is you can add a bunch of different toppings you want. As you can see by me and Tim, we have some added. But traditional is french fries, cheese curds, and gravy, and it's amazing. Bye Montreal. Going back home to the suburbs. That is it for this video, obviously we're not showing all the best spots in Montreal because that would just be a super long video. These are just some of our favorite places and if you're in town for like a day, these are some things you could definitely do all in one day. But let me know if you guys want to see another video with some other spots because there's so much to show you guys around could in totally the city. Totally do another one. We could do one of where to go shopping, mm, um, where to go for like good, a good like drink on a terrace, which is a patio. I don't know what you call it. We call it a, a terrasse in French, so it's like a, terrace, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah, some, people say, some people say terrace, some people say patio. It's basically where you eat outside and you can have drinks and stuff. So if you guys would like to see another one, let me know. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below with the notifications on and go follow us um, poorly planned podcast on iTunes and SoundCloud and Spotify. The three of us do a podcast weekly. You don't, you don't have to follow on all three. Just yes. Follow on whatever you can oh, listen on. <laughs> Tim. And follow us on Instagram if you guys want. Yay! I hope this was helpful. Love you. Bye. What do we say in French when we say goodbye? Au revoir. Au revoir. Ciao. In this abandoned amusement park, we come to life when it turns dark. We're just carnival hearts, you and me.